So this is the excellent NATO version 3.5, I believe, um, running in Black Ops version 2.0, which is a compilation of Rainbow Six One and its expansions, and Rogue Spear and its expansions, including the Korean Takedown. And uh, anyway, this this mod. One of the great things about this mod is the many different ammo types and uh, anyway I'm gonna show it to you guys um, especially the shotgun ammo the shotgun ammo is so much fun uh, I'll show you these tangos are wearing body armor remember that and you'll do fine so Novikov has a VSS Venturez, Venturez, however you say it, um, so, but he's, here it's a sniper rifle, well, no, you do move after a while, that's interesting, let's see, once you set up, then, huh, I don't know, okay, so, uh, and the VSS has a full auto fire mode, so I'm going to put it on full auto. And where's Kazi? Kazi's right here. She's got the AS Val, which is practically the same firearm, except she's just got a, I think, a Cobra reflex sight on it. Cover this area. So they're covering, and uh, we'll save Bogart, he's got the shotgun, but he's got slugs in it. And here's a HKPDW, yum yum. So we're going to try to go around back. Look at that reticle, that's just beautiful. Fortunately, no one on the balcony yet. And cover this area. area. Oh, I left. I left Price with the AS Val. Darn it! And what? What does my buddy have? The Famos, right? Uh, that's okay. No one on the catwalk. <coughs> one back here, so... them to cover. Cover this area. Oh, and right now, because he's not a sniper, I guess, he's switched to the Glock 18. But the AS Val is considered like a sniper rifle. Not a sniper rifle, and like an urban assault rifle slash submachine gun, depending on your perspective, I guess. Um, but Novikov, I thought his sniping skill was really high, but apparently he doesn't want to use the sniper rifle. Which, uh, I'm not sure the VSS should be considered a Conventional sniper rifle. <coughs> and this thing's. <coughs> this mod's got some great grenades. Tango's 
Got in him. sight. Looks like someone was behind that door. Fifteen shot, <coughs> and I'm dead. And that's because I'm not. There's no selection for flechette rounds or quadrangle buck on this shotgun. <coughs> so now, Antonio Maldini has himself a proper Italian assault rifle, Beretta AR-7090. But, uh, it seems like it's kind of unwieldy, so I'm not sure how easy it will be to use this. Nobody in there. I didn't want to play. over there. Grenade! I don't think they got him. Got him! Well, the other guy went out on the balcony. He's trying to sneak around. You're dead now. Should clear from back there. See what's around the corner here. Nobody? That's good. <clears throat> Nothing going on in the bathroom. Oh, oh, hello. I have one of these. Grenade! No. Oh. Oh, and this this guy doesn't have the Glock, so I can't just burst into him. I love the pistol simulation in the NATO mod. It is so realistic. Those rounds weren't penetrating that guy's armor very well, though. 45... I think I used 45 blue nose, which probably would not penetrate armor, body armor, very well.
person right there? Oh, piece of furniture. step out at the most inopportune moments. Alright, you got this. Got some biznatches to take care of. See how the P7 does. <laughs> Chewed right through his armor. Was he? Where was that? There he is. <laughs> and switch to full auto. Yeah, I'm coming for you. <laughs> I think it's loaded. Yeah, it's loaded with glazer blue nose, so it's not going to go through the armor. It's got to hit a soft piece of flesh. ammunition. Uh, I was out of ammo. <coughs> Takes some getting used to this mod. Again. But the Tavor is in the house now. Not the Tavor, the FAMAS. And the FAMAS does not care about his feelings.
Kazi and let's take Ayana, the Sitar. <coughs> Here it's called a Tavor Micro. The pictures they're using uh, show prototypes of the Tavor. Success. Objective <coughs> completed. Alright, I need to show you how these, uh... Terrorist hunt. Flechette and quadrangle buck. Quadrangle buckshot can mess up some heavily armored Russians. Let's see, what was that called? Uh, I don't think it's that one. Take down snow base. Yeah, it's this one. Terrorist hunt. Terror. Just a bunch of gen generics. the Glock 18. I don't know why you'd go with anything else. And AP ammo's probably the best bet. Because you're going to be putting a lot of rounds on target anyway, probably. Okay, shotguns, shotguns. Uh, let's see... I guess the um, <coughs> vanilla M1 tactical, <coughs> these two, they're basically prototypes, I think. <coughs> um, there's the Spaz 12. Let me see. This gives me three loads of eight, and the Spaz gives me what? Spaz 12 gives me three loads of nine, so. So look at this shotgun selection. Triple lot buck, double lot buck, one buck, four buck. I don't even know what that is. I've never even heard of those. QB8, I think that's quadrangle buck. Armor piercing and flechette ammo. And anything else? Yeah. <coughs> So, and primary mags, and some V40, or let's try these HG85 AP fragmentation. Probably wind up fragging myself with that stuff, but we'll try it anyway. Um, okay, so. Quadrangle buck, and I'll give some of them flechette rounds because the flechette tears pretty well, too. Although, in real life, I'm not so sure that flechette's that effective. Um, I 
think it's Tau Fleeter Mouse's channel. Oh, and that one actually made the flechettes look uh, kind of effective, but I saw another, if I remember correctly, and then I saw another video where it didn't look like they were ver very effective at all, the flechette rounds and sh 12 gauge. Anyway, so we're going to use this. <laughs> Blue medium. <coughs> And we're just going shotguns and pistols on these guys. <clears throat> the problem with this map is you don't have much time to set your guys into cover positions. <clears throat> oh, did they change? No, no, that's the same spawn. <clears throat> However, if I put red here... <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me, and then put blue here, and then tell blue to handle its own business. I don't like that window there. That window sucks, man.
multiple ships. Success. Objective completed. AP rounds. So let's do that again just because it's so fun. Shotgun's got some magnification on it. Makes it a lot easier. Oh yeah. <coughs> I don't know if the flushettes can reach that far. Leave these two guys here. These guys were never actually on a cover point. They did that well. Huh. It's pretty amazing. Cover this area. The thing I like to do is spend some grenades over here. <clears throat> oh! There was a guy on the bridge.
see beyond that guy, so... <clears throat> Ubi guy! Ubi guy! Ubi guy! Success. Objective completed. <clears throat> and of course, there's this fun. <clears throat> Terrorist hunt. last mission. So yeah, I'll give everybody quadrangle buck AP.
go. Quadrangle doesn't <coughs> cut through as well as the uh, flechettes, apparently. <laughs> Maybe it was just as. I guess. Uh. 
Oh. I started seeking shelter outside. Or refuge. Mission failure. Your team was wiped out. So, that's the NATO mod. Um, or at least part of it, not all of it. Um, eventually, I think, uh, after I finish Black Bag, I may work on another mod called Another Black Bag. And um, in there, I may include uh, modernized weapons. And, uh, really compile, like, the best parts of all these mods and put them together into a realistic modernized weapons mod. Um, but that will take a lot of work and time. But it's something that... I'm going to want to do for my own enjoyment, so I might as well make it available to you when it's done, or even while it's a work in progress, you know, you could enjoy it um, at various stages of completion, so, uh, yeah, I could just play this game over and over, just go through tango hunts over and over and over, I just... It, uh, helps me unwind. <laughs>